Hansel and Gretel, do you see this crumbling old house near the forest? A poor woodcutter lived here with his wife and two children. The boy was called Hansel and his sister Gretel. The father was very sad because he had no work. There was very little food inside the house. What will happen to our children? He asked. His wife said, Let us leave the children in the deep forest. Perhaps someone will find them and look after them. The next morning the woodcutter said, Come with me, dear children. We shall go into the forest and collect some fresh strawberries. The children were very excited and followed their father. There was so much to see that they got distracted. Soon they were in an unknown part of the forest. Suddenly the children realized that they were alone. Father, father! But father had disappeared. Hansel and Gretel were lost in the forest. The children kept walking. They could not find their way back home. Hansel, I am tired and hungry, cried Gretel. I cannot walk anymore. Just then Hansel said, Look, Gretel, a little house made of chocolates, candies and peppermint sticks. Delighted, they can run towards the house. Delicious chocolate, said Hansel as he climbing up the roof. He and Gretel pull out of a piece of chocolates and started eating them. At that moment, the door opened. A strange old woman appeared from the house. Ah, you are hungry, said the woman. The children froze in fear. Looking at the old woman, but she smiled sweetly and said, Come in, dear children. I shall give you a better sweet candy inside. Don't be afraid. The children fell into the old lady's trap. In fact, the old woman was a wicked witch. She grabbed hold to the poor Hansel. You are not going anywhere, she said with a horrible chuckle. The witch locked him up in a cage. When you become fat and stout, you shall make a delicious meal for me and my dear rat. You lazy girl, go and clean the house. Then cook a meal for your brother. Huh. Every morning the witch checked the Hansel's finger to see whatever he was growing fat. As the witch had very poor eyesight, clever Hansel used to show her a thin cheekbone instead. Till one day, the angry witch said, That is enough. I am going to eat up this boy today. You little girl, put more wood into the big oven. We like the children, well roasted. Wanting to save Hansel, Gretel asked bravely, What are you going to do? with the inside the oven. What is inside the oven? You stupid girl. Well, let me see for myself. The half blind witch went close to the oven. Quickly Gretel, with all her strength, gave her a push that toppled the witch into the burning oven. Gretel opened the lock and let her brother out. We are free, Hansel. She also gave one wake to the nasty little rat. Stop. We are safe. The two children hugged each other and danced with joy. Now to find our way home, said Gretel. Let us search this house. We may find something useful, said Hansel. I know, down in the basement there is a big trunk filled with diamond. Gretel egg said excitedly. The children filled their pocket with the diamond. They also get a map of the area.
Come, let us go in the direction of the setting sun, said Gretel. Let's run, Gretel, said her brother. I wish to see Papa and Mama's faces when they see us and the wealth we carry. Meanwhile, their parents were very sad for having left their children in the forest. They searched the forest but could not find the children. They began to think that the Hansel and Gretel were dead. Suddenly, the father heard a happy voice. Thank goodness you are both safe. Their parents hugged and kissed their children. They promised never to be separated again. The happy parents were yet to see the diamonds. Thank you. Like and share. Bye-bye.